This is Timmy, and that is Jimmy. They are both 18 years old and live in Los Angeles, California. Although they live just a few miles from each other, their communities are very different. Timmy lives in a poor neighborhood, and Jimmy lives in a nicer, more wealthy one. Timmy goes to a public school in his community, and Jimmy's parents can afford a private school. Timmy's public school is overcrowded, underfunded, and does not have the best teachers. The value of the education he is getting at this public school is not as good as Jimmy's private school education. Jimmy's school has better opportunities, a college focus, better teachers, and higher graduation rates. At Timmy's public school, college was not something that was prioritized, and the majority of his classmates did not plan to further their education after graduation. Timmy, as a result of this, decided to start working a minimum wage job in the fast food industry right after high school and not to go to college, limiting his opportunities in the future. Jimmy, on the other hand, was accepted into Stanford and will begin studying there in the fall. Because of this, his job opportunities in the future will be more extensive than Jimmy, than Timmy, and he will most likely be able to live a comfortable life. Timmy is stuck in a cycle due to the circumstances he grew up with. His likeliness of living in a poor community is very high, and if he has kids, his children will likely fall into the cycle too. Jimmy is also in a cycle, but in his cycle, he is able to better himself and his children, who will most likely fall into his cycle. Because Quintilian believes that everyone should receive an equal education, he would be upset by this situation. It is not Timmy's fault that he did not have the same opportunities as Jimmy throughout his life. In order to fix situations like this, it should be required for children to receive the same caliber of education as their peers. If everyone received the same education, it would create better lives for all and more fluidity in the socioeconomic classes.